I've got a free gift at the end of this video that you won't want to miss. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk all things Canvas. In case you're new here though, my name is Lauren and I'm the Canvas Queen. I am so excited today to show you guys choice boards in Canvas. And if you stay tuned all the way through the end, I have a limited time a free gift just for you to help you get started with creating choice boards. Before we get into the video, I would absolutely love it if you would like this video and share it with someone who is maybe struggling with Canvas. Send them my way. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while. All right, let's get into the tutorial video on how to create Canvas choice boards. In my Canvas course, I've created a choice boards module. And yes, usually when I am in the classroom doing some sort of choice board activity, I create an entire module for this one activity because I think it is easier for students to navigate through and it's also easier for you as the teacher in the future to figure out all of the different pages and links if it's all in one module instead of later on trying to go find everything, uh, with, let's say, within your pages navigation. So you should create a module and let me kind of go through that outline. These first three example pages you see here are really all of the same choice board. I just have them in different formats. So we have a basic, the image choice board, and then an embedded choice board. So basically at the top of your module, you want to have your choice board, a page including all of the options to the different activities. Then underneath that is where your students are going to submit. So whether that be a Canvas assignment or what I have here, which is a Canvas quiz, that is completely up to you on how you want your students to submit the activity. But I make that separate because then there's like, you'll see down here where I have all of the instructions. If I were to create, let's say they only needed to do, as you can see here, they choose two. If they're submitting one, let's say for this one, cell models, and then one for the comic strip, they didn't do the rest of these and then grading just kind of becomes chaotic for me. So I have one place where the choice board is completely submitted and then different pages below for all of the instructions. Let's take a look at what choice boards in Canvas can look like, starting with the most basic kind. The most basic choice board that you can create within Canvas is simply a data table with text. That's basically it. So you can see here I've included links, but all you have to do, I left this one unlinked so I could show you how to do it, which is you select the text, you go up to the little lovely chain icon here, and then you add your link. Now, if you do not want this choice, to necessarily be within Canvas, it doesn't have to be. I did all of the activities within Canvas, but if you wanna do, let's say, vocabulary or some sort of reading or video that's on YouTube, whatever options you wanna provide your students, you can add an external link as well. But I did a course link here. So we're gonna find the cell model construction so meaning like they're building cell models. And here's that page. I have now added a link to it and I close it. And that's essentially it. So it honestly, if you didn't even want to have the data table, you could just link in like rows. That's an option too. But I like the data table just because it does become a, a board. So we'll save this here. Here's what the pages look like. So 
when I click on the cell model construction, simple instructions here, you can see no images, just text for today as the example. But I also have a link to return to that choice board. If they don't like that specific option for the assignment, they can return and go back and take a look at the next one. It's just quicker this way to have that extra little link. But let's say they wanted to do the presentation and they finished. They could come down here, ready to submit. They click this and then it would take them to that choice board submission quiz. So just a quick overview on how to do the choice board. You are just going to insert that table and then you're going to add in your text. Right now we're gonna do option one. You would just select your title and then add your link. And there you go. You have the most basic choice board that you can create in seconds. Let's now take a look at the image choice board example. This is very similar to the basic one. The only difference is that instead of putting text within each cell, I have placed images that I created using Canva. All I had to do to add these images, go to the image button and click either upload or course image. And then from there, I can actually like add the different images if I want to. And then of course, same way that we link text, we select the image. We're going to come up and go to that link button you decide where it takes your students to. Mine, again, is going to go to that cell model page. So there it is. Save, and then you're essentially done. So now the students can click again, go back to those same pages, return to the choice board here, and they can choose whichever activity that they'd like. So just to show you how to create that from scratch, again, I'm going to insert that table. We're going to insert those course images. So I would just select whichever image that I want. When we're done, we can click on each image and then add the course link and then click save. And there you go. You have your choice board. If the choice board is too big, you can also shrink it down. The last type of format for choice boards we're going to look at is the embedded option. So this is my favorite because it is so engaging and so much fun. I embedded this and created this from Canva slides. Let me take you to Canva real quick. And here we are. This is the slide that I created for my activity. And I did have to link within this slide the appropriate links from Canvas. Right here you'll notice so when I click on it, it does take me to the correct page. There's kind of two ways to do it. You can go to the page itself and then go to copy link address. Or if you create the link, let's say from like the basic choice board too, you can create that link, click on it, link options, and it provides you with the link here as well. So you do have some options on how you obtain that Canvas page link for your choice boards. If of course you want them to stay in Canvas. If you don't want them to stay in Canvas, this choice board might not be a bad option for all of your external links. How you embed it is you click share and instead of downloading it, you go to more and then you have the embed option, which you can see it says live right now. And that is because it is currently embedded in my Canvas course right here. Now, once you click embed, you're going to get two different types of codes. I personally like the HTML code because then when I go into Canvas and I create my choice board page, I just click on the HTML editor here and I paste this in like so, and then I have my choice board ready to go. Now, if you're uncomfortable with the HTML editor, that's totally fine, especially in terms of like placing it between different text and images. Let's just get rid of this real quick. And instead, I'm gonna write like, hello, my, you know, my name is in terms of like a placement and then like that. So let's say I want it exactly right there, okay? I am going to go to this cloud icon 
icon and if you hover over it it'll tell you that it's the embed tool and I'm going to click it and instead I am going to paste that same code here and then submit and you'll get the exact same thing but this time it's in the proper place instead of having to figure out <laughs> the code here and finding that correct placement if HTML is just not your thing. And there's the Canva choice board. Let's say the students completed their two activities. How do they submit? So I showed you that Canvas quiz and here it is. I'm actually going to use the student view feature here. And I created this into a survey. Once they submit something, it gives them the points. In this survey here, I asked them which activities did you complete? So then they have the option in this drop down menu to choose to you know check off which ones they did complete which ones they did not and then they get automatically which is why I use the survey two points here they have to upload so then they would click here and choose whichever files that they have on their computer for their specific assignments and from there so students will then choose their files to upload and then the last piece is to write their little summary or reflection of the activity and then they'll hit submit for a grade and that is essentially it thank you guys so much for watching and of course the free gift so I have created an entire choice board template and all you have to do to access this free download that you can import directly into your Canvas course is to check out the description below. There's a link where you can access the file that can be imported into Canvas directly. There's also a few little notes uh, of instructions to help you along the way if you need it. So feel free to check that out in the description below. If you have any questions, whether it be about choice boards or the free download in the description, just feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment on this video and I will be more than willing to help you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.